Hello and welcome back for part 8 of Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time we saved up an obscene amount of money, uh, 7,700 gold to purchase some magic armor that seemed to do absolutely nothing. Um, I will let you know it actually wasn't a total waste of money. Uh, what the magic armor really does is every three steps you take, you heal one hit point. It's not a lot of healing, and it's a lot of money. A lot of people like to just skip it, but we do need the levels anyways, so I go for every bit of gear, even if it seems useless. It's really, more than anything, a way to mark your milestones in your grinding as you go along through the game. Uh, I also told you last time that I would at look up the actual stats on that broadsword. It did increase our attack by 5 when we equipped that. Uh, so as mentioned before, today... We're going to be going on a little treasure hunt. spell in any later game to travel around. But, given that that would take us to Tantagil, and I have no reason to need to go to Tantagil, uh, yet, I'm not going to do that. Um, it will take the same amount of time uh, to walk to Cole from here as it would from Tantagil. But I would like to visit Bull first, as there was a door to be opened there. So we will be taking a little walk. And if you do not want to join me for that walk, then you might be ro watching the wrong video. Uh, or, you know, you can always skip ahead. Until then, I am going to be continue doing uh, exactly what I am currently doing. Which will mean quite a few fights. Uh, later on, as we progress through the game, I will be doing again more like I have in the past, where uh, I'll just cut some of the travel if we're going through familiar territory. The only reason I'm not doing that now is because Honestly, it normally doesn't take that long to get to coal, and, uh, yeah, that gave me a chance to catch you up on some of that stat information. Um, I'll let you guys know we have got a lot more new monsters to meet uh, before we finish the game, but not a lot more gear. Uh, there's no more shields to buy. Uh, we've bought the most expensive armor that we can purchase with gold. Uh, we have one more sword that we can buy. Aside from that, uh, we're going to be looking for legendary equipment uh, soon enough. Uh, now, I'm going to leave that door locked because there's no reason to open it whatsoever uh, when you can go around and not spend 53 gold to get through it. But I did want to stop in here purely for the sake of this one door. Hast thou found the flute? Yes, we have. Go to the town of Cantlin. That is one of the things on the docket. Uh, not for today, but it is something that we are going to have to do. Howard had it, but he went to Romaldar and never returned. So if you didn't talk to Howard in Romaldar, and you came here right after getting the keys, he would tell you to go right back to Ramaldar, find Howard, who would then tell you to come back to Cole and get the flute. Uh, thankfully, the flute actually does do something, so it's not a MacGuffin. We will be starting the MacGuffin quest soon enough uh, without having to worry about it just yet. I was doing the math on those MacGuffins, I know that I gave uh, a few different numbers uh, when I talked about it, and there are five of them. 
five of them. Uh, so, I've decided to call that shrine, uh, the Shrine of the Fifth MacGuffin. Ooh, fairy water. 38 gold. Keeps Dragon Lord's minions away. So that is what's behind here. We get our fairy water. And yeah, I'm gonna buy a couple bottles. Wow, now you see the fairy water doesn't do what the other items do, accumulating that way. Um, I mean, we're going to make use of it, because honestly, I don't want to fight slimes the whole way back to Garenham. Uh, so, I stand by that decision. Of all the ways I could have spent gold, that was not the worst. Uh, we are going to max out our herbs now. There's no reason not to be carrying six of them once you have the gold. I mean, given that there is one more uh, piece of equipment we can actually purchase in the game, uh, we haven't got a lot else to spend the gold on, and it's going to be like that for the remainder of the game. Oh, excellent. We've got a guy blocking the path here. Asshole. Alright, uh, so... That is all of the doors here in Breconary. Now, onto the castle. We're going to use... Oops. I'll have to replace that. Uh, we're going to use fairy water right away here. Uh, one of the fortunate things is we don't actually have to pay to sleep. Finally, finally get to open this door. Uh, it's been there since the beginning of the game. You spend the whole game looking at these boxes, and what do you get? Eight gold from that one. Now, what do we get here? Seven gold. So we're at 15 now. Oh, lovely. We are at 21 gold. Alright, that's 32 gold. Grand total. We spent 53 on the magic key to open that door to get 32 gold. Talk about a treasure trove of sadness. That is literally all that was there was just pathetic sadness. What a fucking waste. Let us wish the warrior well. May the light be thy strength. Okay, I spent 53 gold to talk to you guys. You better have something better to say than this. For the castle cellar, I heard it is not easily found. If thy hit points are high enough, by all means enter. What's he talking about? We got some kind of weird diagonal lines on the ground. Ouch! Oh my god, that was what, like 15 damage? Holy crap! Oh my god, really? Really? Ow, that hurt! I thought the swamps were bad. Right, in Garenham, look for the grave of Garen. Thou must push on a wall of darkness. Alright, it's the second time I've been told to go looking for darkness. Uh, the Dragon Lord's room. And apparently uh, to find Garen's grave. When the sun and the rain meet, a rainbow bridge shall appear. If you remember earlier, people were talking about sun and rain coming together, and Lodo, because we don't acknowledge Erdrick, uh, having something to do with a rainbow uh, to get to the Dragon Lord's castle. Uh, this would be that legend. We also heard that there's something called the Stones of Sunlight. Well, we are going to stock up on keys again. We heard that there's stones of sunlight somewhere around Tantagal Castle, and a staff of rain. And we know that that one guy said something about 
bringing the sun and rain together, but us not being the one. What? A staircase? What an unusual place to find stairs. And here we have another old dude. Could it be? I have been waiting long for one such as thee. Take the treasure chest. Okay. Did I leave a room? <laughs> Better hope I did. Wow, fortune smiles upon thee, broken head. Thou hast found the first MacGuffin. That's right, folks. We now have the first MacGuffin. The trial of the five MacGuffins has officially begun. don't want to run into a thousand enemies. And I don't feel like healing because I shouldn't need to. So now we're going to take a little walk back to Garenham. The last town that we've already visited uh, where we haven't opened any doors yet. And if you recall... Town with the big upgrades here is half locked door area. Alright, so we got a lake. They say that Lodo's armor was hidden long ago. Well, you know, that would make sense. There once was a town called Hawk's Nest far to the south, but I do not know if it still exists. Now, I believe one person made reference to Hawk's Nest so far in this game. But they did it in a way that implied that we should already know where it is. Well, if you haven't gone adventuring into high-level areas that you don't belong yet, this is the first time you would find out where Hawk's Nest actually is. So it was a bit of a continuity error to have an NPC reference it as something that we should already know the location of prior to talking to this guy. I mean, we, we gotta critique the game here. Uh, it's a classic, but if we don't hold it to account, who will? I hate people. <laughs> Go! Leave me! That's fantastic. I think I want to marry that little NPC there. Uh, I also uh, want people to leave me alone. Okay, so we found a torch. Just making a map if thy path leads into the darkness. Well, luckily, we've got that Radiant spell that pretty much takes care of that. Uh, 11 gold, which, whatever. And we found a herb. All right. So we should now have uh, a torch in case we need it. Wings in case we need it. Uh, some keys maxed out on herbs. And we've got some more fairy water as well. I'm too busy, ask the other guard. <laughs> Cocky asshole. <laughs> oh man, they just don't even like you. They're just like, fuck off. I got no time for you. Now, I see a wall of darkness here, so since we were told to try pushing on it, I'm just gonna go along and, uh, because, I mean, we were told Garenham, wall of darkness. There's an old dude! Old dudes tell us where to go! The harp attracts enemies. Stay away from the grave in Garenham. Well, I wonder if that's what this is right over here. I mean, I can't imagine what else it would be. So maybe we should check it out. And that's exactly what we're going to do next time on Castle Broken Head Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Uh... That is going to be it for our time today. Uh, so until next time, uh, stay frosty, everyone.